Hi, I'm Jack, and welcome back, because today I'm going to give you guys my review for a summer movie that I've been really looking forward to seeing in theaters for a while now, and it is a part of the Barbenheimer double feature that I had the chance to go see recently, Barbie. It is directed by Greta Gerwig, director of Lady Bird and Little Women, and it stars Margot Robbie as Barbie, Ryan Gosling as Ken, America Ferreira, Emma Mackey, Will Ferrell, Issa Rae, Simu Liu, and many more. Let me know down below in the comments, what's your opinion on Barbie? I'd love to know that. And with that said, let's get started. The movie follows Barbie and Ken as they are having the time of their lives in a perfect world known as Barbie Land. However, when Barbie faces an existential crisis, she and Ken go to the real world and soon discover the highs and lows of being among humans. Greta Gerwig is a great director. I love Little Women from 2019. It's one of the most delightful and best movies I've seen from that year. And for a while, I've been curious to see what she was going to have in store with the Barbie movie. Adding to that, I love Margot Robbie. She's one of my favorite actresses right now, especially with her amazing performance in Babylon last year. And I also am a big fan of Ryan Gosling. He's one of the most versatile, funniest actors out there right now. And he's making his comeback after being in last year's The Gray Man. And so seeing him as Ken, I thought was a perfect casting choice. And the trailer seemed to be colorful, lively, and upbeat. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the movie was about. And so because it was also part of the Barbenheimer double feature over the weekend with Barbie and Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, I was very curious to see how I was going to feel about this one because it's a movie where I got more excited the closer we got to release date for it after not knowing much about what this movie was going to be about until I saw it. So now that I had the chance to go see Barbie recently... I loved it. It's the funniest movie I've seen so far this year, packed with a beautiful and touching story about discovering and loving you for who you are. Starting off with the positives, the performances in Barbie are fabulous here. Margot Robbie is amazing as Barbie in this movie. She was really good casting as stereotypical Barbie, and she's one of my favorite actresses working today, with Nellie Leroy and Babylon being one of my favorite performances last year and my favorite performance of hers of all time. And this is also one of my favorite roles of hers. She fits the bill for what this character's evolution is throughout this movie so well. Her dynamics with all these characters from Ryan Gosling's Ken and America Ferreira's Gloria and even Issa Rae's President Barbie. She is magnificent in this movie and both the fun upbeat scenes and her energy she brings on screen and even the more emotional sequences with Barbie and Ryan Gosling as Ken is perfect casting. He really brings his Kenergy into this movie. It was perfect, perfect, everything, down to the last minute details. He's one of my favorite actors working today. I love him in comedies. <laughs> dramas and thrillers and this is one of my favorite roles he has ever portrayed his dynamic with Margot's Barbie is fantastic so fun to watch on screen and I even love the way he works alongside the other Kens in this movie and his story is very good here and I love how it plays out and even goes in directions that I wasn't even anticipating and even that whole segment of the movie and even his amazing musical number of I'm just Ken I'm just blew me away it is exciting and it's incredible and then the rest of the cast members here america ferreira she is really good as gloria especially having a really important part of the movie when we see the real world i love her scenes with barbie and so as the character grows she goes on will ferrell is funny as the ceo of mattel and even the supporting cast members like simu Liu is ken and kingsley benadir is ken and Issa Rae is present Barbie. Emma Kate McKinnon is funny as weird Barbie. Emma Mackey is Barbie. And even the smaller appearances like Dua Lipa as Mermaid Barbie. And I can't forget about Michael Sarah as Alan. He is absolutely hysterical. Everybody is just really good in this movie from the supporting cast members to the main stars of the movie. The production design of this movie is incredible. The way Greta Gerwig brings Barbie Land to life is marvelous. It really feels like we are transported into a fantasy world where it's perfect, it's lively, it's colorful, it's fun. 
and it is just so cool how it's all brought to life and apparently there was a international shortage of pink paint because so much of it was used for barbie land in this movie and i can see why it is beautiful on screen and how it's brought to life is amazing and the visual style of barbie is also really good and unique amongst movies this year and still retains a lot of the stuff i love from greta gerwig's other movies like little women from 2019 and even how it visualizes the real world in opposition of barbie land i thought was really creative with barbie land being this perfect utopia that's fun colorful exciting and everybody has relations to one another while the real world is more drab and gray looking not quite as fun and as perfect as barbie land and how it comes to life is so good it's a visually stunning looking movie at many points and another thing i really like too is it is so funny. This is the funniest movie I have seen all year with the perfect line deliveries from a lot of these cast members, especially Ryan Gosling, Kate McKinnon, Margot Robbie, and even Kingsley Ben-Adir. It's just so funny. I laughed a lot at points in this movie, and a lot of it was from Ken, who has one of my favorite segments of the movie and just with what all these characters go through. It is a really funny movie that's really well written from Greta Gerwig and Noah Bumbach. And so it's bringing the world of Barbie to life so well while doing a lot of subversive things that we don't tend to expect from Barbie. And this movie serves as a satire of a lot of different things we face in the real world. And so as in this movie, like the patriarchy and how it's bad for women, but it's also bad for the men too. And so as gender roles of challenging what people usually expect in society when it comes to the roles of genders in society, I thought that was really clever with how it plays out, even in Barbie land and even in the real world with the CEO of Mattel and that part of the story. And even with how it handles the storylines of Barbie and Ken, which went in directions I did not anticipate them even going into when I watched this movie. And I like that it was subversive but in a good manner where it takes a lot of the stuff we tend to know about Barbie, that it's always Barbie and Ken together, especially different iterations of them. And this movie turns it on its head that both of these characters are their own people. And so it's having really universal messages about loving yourself. And even if you face a lot of hate and dislike in the world, that as long as you trust and believe in yourself, everything's okay and that you are beautiful inside and out. And this movie has so many heartwarming messages here that even when it's so funny and so upbeat and colorful, it has a really strong emotional core and messages that it really comes out as a really unique movie that's based off of an IP like Barbie, especially on a big scale like this. And not everybody's going to respond positively to this, but I thought it worked marvelously. The pacing is great. The story is amazing. The musical numbers here are incredible, especially Dance the Night by Dua Lipa and I'm Just Ken by Ryan Gosling, which is one of my favorite movie scenes of the year. And then I also really like the way it ends the story with all these characters and it feels like a nice natural ending to a lot of the things and story arcs of all these characters that I was really happy with the way this movie reached an ending considering how the story played out and I thought it was done really well. It's well written, it's well acted, it's well made and being a bigger movie from Greta Gerwig's filmography it still retains a lot of the stuff I love about her as a director that I was still very satisfied with what Greta Gerwig was able to do with a movie like this. I have a few minor issues with Barbie. The first thing that comes to mind is Gloria's daughter Sasha starts out in one place personality wise, but then by the end, she feels like a completely different person. And it feels like we never really see much change really happen to her character to reach that conclusion. And then the other issue I have with the movie is that as much as I like Will Ferrell and seeing him as the CEO of Mattel, it feels like after the middle of the movie, his character is just there story wise. It feels like there's not much of a reason for him to still be here. And by that point his character feels like an afterthought and those are two things that come to mind in terms of story issues with the movie and I feel like for the most part a lot of the characters are done really well but there are a few people in this movie that I think could have been handled a little bit better. 
In conclusion, I loved Barbie. By far the funniest movie of the year. Love the performances, especially from Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling. Marvelously directed by Greta Gerwig. That's really well written, extremely funny, and really well paced. That has a lot of really universally good messages that I thought were done really well. And I was really satisfied with Barbie as a whole. So in the end, I'm going to give Barbie an A. I highly recommend you go check out Barbie in theaters. It's fun, emotional, and heartwarming, and I love Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling as Barbie and Ken, and it's really well directed by Greta Gerwig, and for a movie of this scale, she definitely shows that she can handle doing bigger movies, especially after doing smaller stuff like Little Women and Lady Bird, so I highly recommend you go see this in theaters while you can, especially during the summer, as we are in the era of Barbenheimer. So yeah, that's my review for Barbie. What are your thoughts on the movie? Let me know down below in the comment section. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Stay tuned for some upcoming videos I have planned very soon. I'm going to have a review for Oppenheimer, which is a movie that I'm so excited to talk to you all about. And I cannot wait to give you guys a video for this soon. So stay tuned for all that fun stuff coming your way. And don't forget to follow me on social media. My username is down below at the bottom of the screen and at the description below. So please go do that while you're at it. And thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button. And stay tuned for more.